I'm Dr. Steve Harris. I'd like to welcome you to your Pharmacology Kaplan Review. To tell you a little bit about myself, I currently serve as the uh, Associate Dean for Academic Affairs at the Pikeville College School of Osteopathic Medicine. I'm an Associate Professor of Pharmacology. I have a PhD in Pharmacology and Toxicology from the University of Georgia. I have a research background uh, that includes breast cancer research. Uh, that also includes uh, a three-year postdoc that I did at the National Cancer Institute in Bethesda, Maryland. Uh, the work there included work on tumor angiogenesis and uh, novel anti-cancer therapies uh, to inhibit the development of blood vessels uh, in various types of cancers. Uh, I began teaching uh, pharmacology about 14 years ago, and the last 11 of those uh, has been in Pipeville at the Osteopathic Medical School. I began working for Kaplan Medical about eight years ago uh, and have had the opportunity to travel and teach uh, in a variety of locations uh, for Step 1 reviews. We're going to begin our review with general principles. Our first section uh, and our first chapter is going to be on pharmacokinetics. This will give us an opportunity to look at our first slide here, which has uh, a variety of things, and I'm going to bring these up one at a time. The first deals with drug administration, and you of course know that there are a variety of ways to give drugs. Most often that's oral. There's several advantages to the oral route. That includes the fact that it's safe, it's convenient, and it's usually less expensive than the other routes. But there are many of ways, many ways that we can give drugs. Drugs get absorbed into the plasma. Uh, that allows the, the drug to move uh, into the blood and then ultimately to be distributed to various tissues. It can be bound up in the plasma to various plasma proteins or the drug can even bind up in various tissue storage sites as well. Of course, we hope that the drug will interact with its receptor and that will relate to its mechanism, and we'll talk about that. Many drugs are metabolized. Of course, the liver is the primary organ for drug metabolism, but certainly it's not the only organ. Uh, lung, liver um, is the primary one, but lung and, and other organs contribute to that. And drugs are excreted, the kidney being the primary organ there, but again, not the only one. You have biliary routes, the lungs are important in that case, and in some cases, sweating is a way to eliminate drugs. If you think about this, we're really talking about two very important terms here. The terms are pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics. And these terms are interrelated. And I would imagine that these terms will kind of take you back to your early days in pharmacology when you first reviewed these basic principles. I like to illustrate these by using some simple definitions. And my simple definition for pharmacokinetics is what the body does to the drug. Really, it refers to the actions of the body on the drug. And in some ways, you can think about pharmacodynamics as being the opposite of that. Pharmacodynamics really involves what the drug does to the body, the drug's action on the body. And it's not hard for you to imagine that what the body does to the drug will influence what the drug does to the body. Let's take a look at our diagram now as a whole, and let's talk about which parts of this actually represent pharmacokinetics. Well. The drug can be absorbed, the drug can be distributed, the drug can be metabolized, and the drug can be excreted. And those are all various ways that the body is doing something to the drug. So that represents our pharmacokinetics portion. Pharmacodynamics, on the other hand, really involves this box right here. That involves the interaction of a drug with its receptor. So very importantly for your step one exam, that involves the mechanism of action of drugs. And this is going to be more important really for you on step one than on the other steps where they test mechanism of action very heavily. But there's another component to pharmacodynamics in this particular part of our diagram that's also important for your exam. And this is side effects of drugs. Many of those side effects are mediated just simply by overstimulating that receptor. And of course, side effects are going to be tested not only on step one, but also on the other steps. 